Hello, my name is Shadlier, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate Roman Restoration. And in the previous episode, we managed to, well, basically take out any remaining parts of France, other than the Maginot Line, that was still held by the French. And now we skip a little bit ahead in time, and we do, in fact, have invasion ready to be landed. So, and I've already given the fleet's orders to get over this way. Uh, we'll probably do the landing over there. We'll capture that port. And then capture this area. We we'll may need to bring in a bit more. Also, I realized that Iraq likes us, so we started trading oil from them. Because they give a lot better price than the Americans. And we have a little bit of uh, escort ships. Like two escort ships, they're not going to be all that great, but they might be able to help a little bit. Let's uh, get over there. I think these that's life for us. So if we land the troops over there, oh, well, that's a lot of garrisons in there. So you unload stuff over there. That is a lot of troops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to take the next seven. I'm just going to spread the truth first a little bit before I do too much. The artillery is already able to work a little bit. I mean, I suppose technically what I could just do is grab all the marines, send them to entrench at the neighboring, or next to the city. I mean, technically that would work. I think that's enough of them. <laughs> there she is. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be quite a massacre. We am gonna use the tank to spread out a little bit. And, okay, yeah, there's not much. I, I am building more troops, and the economy is doing a bit better again. Not great, but better. I mean, we got a decent uh, storage of military goods, at least, to work with. And this stack of units, sure enough, we may take a little bit of damage there, but I think the Doom stack will work. Yeah, there's one down. Wonder, there's gonna be some sort of garrison over there. I just don't know how much. Let's send seven over there. We'll slowly spread out the troops a little bit. We'll capture that. There's a barracks over there, which is gonna be quite useful. We've got some artillery and energy air guns and such over here. We'll move this group a little bit forward, and then we've still got another artillery group. Uh, Jody's artilleries, which we'll move up this way. Or land them over there first, and we'll probably move them along the shorelines here. The thing is, if we can take out the majority of this area quickly, in a six, if we accompany some of that with the Panzer free, that's probably going to be fine. Then we do have some more technology that is being researched, but it's going to take a while. We did have to lower the research development a tiny bit, because it was costing quite dramatically. Right, let's grab another seven. Over there, and then whatever remains there will probably send over there for the time being. Probably move down that way. Perhaps the artillery is there. We can probably move up here because there's only three garrisons. This shouldn't be all that great. Not on that group. It might not be quite ready. If we don't take that, we can grab another seven marines and then. 
after that, the final marines will just keep at the port for the time being. Now, the artillery should have a decent range. This group can easily take out that one. Move down that way. So, yes, you are already moving there. We'll have three marines here as a bit of a reserve. We we'll move the submarine down this way. Now, we know that they got some troops down there, but it might not be all that much. Now, there's some fighting going on somewhere, but I think it's mostly... I did send up uh, artillery over here to help against the Belgians, so that's probably what's happening. I could easily send up another artillery group over here to stop the Belgians from trying to get through. But it's like, this tank... actually, no, that's not the same tank, but the Germans are sending one tank to tr try to take our city. And then it gets... Uh, pushed back and so forth. It's not doing all that great job, quite frankly. Okay, so we'll send the marines and the marines with the tank over here. We'll take out the village over there. It says that there's no garrison, but I don't believe that. Oh, apparently there wasn't a garrison. Okay then. View on the road there. This group can probably move over that way. Metal ore. Okay, I'll take that, Germany. I'll take that. Just to keep you happy. So basically, once we take out Syria, we can technically declare war on Egypt. They are allies leading, but they're not allies, technically. And they don't have a huge army. I mean, well, they got about 100,000 men. They do have one production facility there. Now, we can... Rob up and start moving these in here. The artillery will do its job. Now how are we doing in terms of oil? We are actually accumulating a tiny bit now. Which is excellent news. Alright, since we got the transports here, that will actually keep the marines uh, supplied. I am okay with that, because they essentially work the same way as the supply trucks. They will supply the unis at the same and neighboring hexes. We technically captured that. Start moving this way. We'll send one of the marines back and send another one over here instead. Move the artillery a little bit closer, so we'll probably take out this area. I mean, we know that they have a military complex there, so they probably have some troops over there at least, and another complex over here. But the units that they seem to be having here are not the latest. I can probably move down this way. Should be within reach of the troops there then. Waiting for one more unit. I suppose we could move the artillery over there. Right, so we can hit that base. I'll already cut the railway over there. The closer we get around here, the sooner they will probably send in reinforcements, but 
Honestly, I don't think French have all that many troops left. If you have a look, well, it's still 113,000. That's a fair bit, actually. Another place where we could probably do a fair bit now is uh, over here in Eritrea. Let's start gathering up the artillery over there. Because we know that we have plenty. And the rest of that is infantry and special forces. Poland declared war on Bulgaria. I'll condemn that. Okay, we got almost all the reinforcements there. Oh, right. I forgot that one. Oh, well, I mean, that's not going to be a problem. Why the opposite? They do have plenty of garrisons there. That's seven. We don't have a supply truck over there, which may prove to be a bit of a problem. We technically do have one over here that we could send down this way. Maybe send one of the anti-aircraft guns over there instead. And we do have the troops over here. Let's just stack them up against this town here, which frankly might not even have anything, but we'll see. I mean, if it's empty, then we'll probably take out the airbase there. That seems to have a garrison. Oh, no, it's not empty. Not that he has much, but it's not empty. Okay, there we go. Another set of troops available. Actually, over here, we will use the formation movement these so that they will move roughly at the same time. You should be able to return there now. Actually we'll take up these move over there. All of you, how are we doing here? One of the Marines needs to pull back, send in a reinforcement. But the majority of the garrisons are already half dead, at least. Going good so far. Let's move that army there. Then there is some over here in eastern Syria that we may need to clear out. But we'll focus. A bit more down south for the time being. We can probably send you for repairs over there now. Same for these two. Now what we could do is we could move the artillery over here so it would be within reach of all of these. Now, there seems to be some movement over here. The artillery doesn't seem to be very good, but there are engineers. But on the other hand, the engineers as well are not a huge challenge. Not on their own, anyway. Let's just make sure that add some garrisons over there, and maybe a little bit over here. Okay, so we capture that. What we could do... Oh, there's some... Anti-aircraft guns over there, moving around. 20 days for our tech knowledge, excellent. Hold on, so where is that... Marine moving? Why don't you join over here? This group of uh, marines can move up this way. What I could do is I could gather up the, both of these screws once the reinforcements arrive, take out that airfield in Hamach, 
and then go to hymns. Over here, I could probably take out that one. This may prove to be a problem. We'll leave the artillery over here for the time being. Just so that it can support on either side. Over here, we'll probably have to grab these. And I know that technically I do have two extra marines over there that I can use if need be. But for the time being, I think I won't. Send this submarine over there just in case that they send reinforcements because the British might be sending troops down this way. Of course, I can't see that if they are, but they might be. I haven't gotten any levels for these troops yet, but I'm sure that they have done a fair bit of damage on the enemies. Okay, the reinforcements are about to arrive. Basically, assign both of these to the same hex there. And then, with the artillery, helps. Okay, it's gonna be seven garrisons there. Doing great. I'll take both of these and trench over there. Okay, well, at least they're taking a bit of a hit on the morale there. One of the marines is taking a few hits, but I'm pretty sure that we can take out this airfield without any significant losses. Let's move up this way. Now, how much military does Syria still have? 30,000. I think they've lost about 40% of their troops. That group, so that engineer over them, we will have to fight it off, but I think we'll be fine. Now, that has some industry over there. Wonder, so this uh, is loyal. Yeah, it is just loyal, I believe. So we'll have Italian Syria most likely. Basically anything outside of Europe, I'll... Well, and Turkey is probably an exception. Now the question is, do I want to make Turkey as a vassal or not? And maybe I will. Have them, well, as a colony is the correct term here, but... Still, I'll probably have them as a colony. Artillery a little bit closer from there as well. We got these ships. We could technically capture more of the sea here. And I have done a little bit of work over here in Morocco, which I can probably continue for the time being. This group can entrench over there. I will send you to be repaired over there. Do you have another marine that we can send down south? We'll let these capture that. So then this uh, artillery group down south, so we're gonna actually support at least on that one. Oh, they're starting to build another industrial goods factory. Okay then. set up a shop over there, get the artillery behind the troops. We may need to use this group, I mean we did get the reinforcements there already. So these two groups, or technically three groups, 
plus the artillery can probably clear out this area. And then we'll gather up all the forces that we have here, destroy uh, the enemy troops or enemy presence in Damascus. Two units over there, but they'll be fine over there for the time being. That's not a huge garrison, mind you. Still waiting a little bit for the modern environment control. I'll move these troops down south a little bit again. Hold on. Yeah, that is correct. I could have used the formation movement as well for that one. But we've got on a bit more marines over here again. Now the question is, who should we, after we've taken out, I don't know, Syria and Egypt, who should we attack after that? I think it's either Spain or Turkey that we kind of need to take. And frankly, either one of them is Perfectly fine. Raven can probably start moving it up there. We captured that one. Don't see any sign of battle, so we'll just move up, up to there. Get the artillery following. Oh, yeah, we captured that with our fight. So Morocco might be surrendering soon. Right, well I suppose we are ready to get in there. We can send in these marines over here. Once we clear out the troops on both of these, or at least that one, we'll move the artillery one step closer. Trying to attack the tank, but they're not having a great time doing that. Oh, we can probably move this one a little bit closer to supply the marines there. Now, if only the escorts had the bombardment range to do or attack there. But, alas, that's not a thing that we have. Troops over there these troops over here and then we'll send troops over there as well. Ooh. Well, those go down pretty quick. I mean technically we could capture these two before we turn to Damask. Okay, we capture that. We can move in some troops over there. Now, how much troops do the French still have? It is still 110,000, so they haven't really lost all that much. We'll probably move up there and move the artillery over this way. The submarine can be moved. Um, there's not actually all that many places that we can move it. We'll just keep it here. We can move the escort down this way, though. Now, how are we doing in terms of... Ah, oh, we do still have a decent uh, amount of petroleum. What we could technically do is lower the price a tiny bit. We are buying the extra, but we are buying... Or, well, some of that we're buying on a decent price, I suppose. There might not be anyone in there. We'll take a look. Then we'll start approaching the mask. Nope, there was no one in there. Let's just clear out this sea here. And then we can 
gathered ships over there. Well, I'm afraid we are actually out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.